if you're not exactly satisfied with the level of engagement that you're getting with your Zoom presentations, then I suggest that you put yourself inside the slides rather than just showing your slides and having your little video appear next to it. So to do that, you can use virtual background and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to show you two ways to use slides as a virtual background. There's the old way and the new way. In the new way, which is a dedicated feature to this, still using the virtual background, uh, it's only in the latest version, which is 5.2. I have 5.2.1 and it works. So what do you do first? You don't go over here. Instead, you go to share a screen. It's a new function here. So it's not here in the basic, but you go to advance and then you'll see slides as virtual background and you click on share and then you'll get a window you can up here you could type the name of your file and search for that if you don't remember where it is mine is on the desktop so i just go there and open it up and it will take a few minutes to load you'll see your powerpoint slides or keynote slides pop up just like they did there in the background but as you can see here it's still loading in the back so it takes a few minutes um, at, in this version, it doesn't show animation or video, perhaps in the future. So you need to design your slides that way. So for example, if you had, you want those bullet points to move in or a couple of arrows to move around or whatever, you just have to build different slides. And so that those bullet points come in, let's say on four different slides. Okay. So there it is. It's popped up right now. It's still loading the slides, although I can advance. I can advance with my mouse or I can just use the arrow key or my remote control device. Using a remote control allows me to get further away from the computer. What you'll notice it's different than using just a, the old virtual background is that I can change the size of my self. So this is maximum size and you know that's okay. I can get back a little bit and maybe raise my chair. Anyway, you want to position yourself to get in there and then just go through uh, the slide. But what you'll notice at the bottom, uh, look at the bottom of my shirt, you still see the blue uh, background. So my video image doesn't bleed 100% off the edge, which is what you want to give that illusion of, you know, you're just inside this studio, for example. So on the right, or sorry, uh, on the right or below me, uh, we see a border. So this is just the, the beta version. So perhaps they'll, they'll change that. So I like to make a, a kind of um, slide area here, very similar to the TV news. So the great thing about being able to change your size of the video is that if we go into something like this, full screen, you could change it, your size. The, the students or the people on the other side won't see this blue box but they'll just see that you've been you know you're moving around to a different part of the screen so you know that that gives you a lot of options there so now I look kind of small but now you could use slides like this full screen to go inside there something like this you could become really small and then like you know engage with students and here is the uh, ending of the the Silk Road coming out of Nara and then going through China. And so anyway, you can make comments at each stop along the way. Uh, I was thinking of, for example, maybe elementary school teachers in the States that are going through the States. Let's say we'd already gone through these, but we want to go through some more. So you could kind of get over closer and then say, uh, okay, class, so what's this one down here? They have a lot of cactus and so on. Arizona, right? And you go up here and what's the next one, kids? Ah, Utah. And then to the west of Utah. Yeah, Nevada, and then California. Okay, who knows this one? Who remembers this one? All right, yes, that's Oregon. And then finally, and so you could ask, you know, Stevie, what's this one, the last one up at the top? That's right, that was George Washington, and this, that state is named Washington, Washington State. Anyway, so you could do something like that. You could have a lot of fun with it, uh, but I like to use it especially for uh, just kind of making my size something like this and using slides like this. I like to adjust the size a little bit bigger. It'll be nice if they ever get the feature where you can bleed off the edge. But anyway, so that's how you do it. Dead simple. Right down there in share screen. So the other way you can share your slides as a virtual background is just to go into the old settings where you would change your virtual background, which you may have used before. So you go into choose virtual background, and I've already uh, have my slides in there, but what you do is, if you didn't, is you make your slides in Keynote or PowerPoint, and then you export them as images. That's in a folder, and then you go to that folder. I'm not gonna do that because I already did that. Uh, but you can see that I did this 
earlier for different presentations. Uh, so let's say we wanted to start uh, here. So I click in settings and I keep that open and I, you know, I can see myself over here, but I, I prefer to look over on the left actually and look into the camera. So I would move the camera in front of the computer but you can see uh, you can put any kind of information just like before. The advantage of doing it this way, at least for now, is that you, you have a really nice, sorry, really nice bleed off the side and in the bottom. And so what I recommend is just looking at the settings window because you really can see how you are situated in there. And you, you can reduce the size uh, of this screen if you like. Uh, if you want to work on something else. But, you know, this this is great uh, for making a connection with the audience. Mm -hmm.